Hello guys, Crisp here and welcome back to another video with this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the Ryzen 3 2200G APU along with the Vega 8 integrated graphics in Cyberbunk but it's the habit, you know, I almost said cyberbug, but uh, it, it came out cyberbunk. <laughs> Anyways, it's Cyberpunk 2077 patch 1.5, where they introduced AMD's Fidelity FX super resolution into the game, and that makes a huge difference for older GPUs or lower-end GPUs. So I have installed, of course, the latest AMD drivers, Adrenaline 2020 22.2.2. So you can see the clock speeds right here in MSI Afterburner. You can check out uh, the RAM over here we're using 16 gigabytes of dual channel 3200 megahertz and uh, of course two of those 16 gigabytes are reserved for the vram and yeah let's get right into the game shall we and as usual let's go over the settings first we're playing at 1080p we're also going to test this one at 720p using the lowest settings low textures as well because two gigabytes of vram allocated for this apu and uh, starting off with no fsr but of course we're gonna enable it in just a little bit bit over on the gameplay tab these are the settings let's go right here we are guys oh it's, it's looking a little bit darker than the usual anyways this still looks very good at night so i'll let it be yeah this oh my yeah this is just not gonna happen okay at 1080p native resolution this is terrible uh, it's not the vram really although it is maxed out there oh boy okay each that's a massive crash right here um also i like your car better so i'm probably just gonna pick it up so apparently she doesn't even want to move right now maybe she's waiting for the police but you know what i will get them here faster okay let's just, just go go to sleep lady all right why how am i failing to get in okay thank you <laughs> oh man well guys this is absolutely terrible let's stop it there at least we we have a good car right now or a better one not the it's in a better state that's it so let's go over here to fidelity fx super resolution set it to ultra quality and uh, see how it performs so it gets like five more fps or so maybe not even that uh well, honestly, I wasn't expecting it to be playable here at these settings, obviously, after seeing what it can do. Uh, should we start counting the FPS? I, 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 I don't want to. I don't really want to play like this, but hey, uh, at least this is way better than what the GT 1030 could do here in this game. So hopefully in just a little bit, it, it will perform better than the 1030 and it will become playable. I really hope it does. Oh boy. So what about quality FSR over here at 1080p resolution? Still looks okay. And it still doesn't reach 30 frames per second, unfortunately. So it's still a pretty big mess. Also, the frame time graph is not flat whatsoever. It has a lot of micro stuttering issues right there. It could be because we are below 30 or 20 FPS sometimes. Oh, gosh. Oh. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't really... Um, affect the gameplay as much as the FPS do affect the gameplay so uh, it, it, it's still a pretty big mess so let's go down to balanced here see if we can get those 30 from oh, oh, okay okay we're there uh, not really anymore god damn it <laughs> we're close though we're, we're getting really close right now also the CPU utilization is very much up there I'm not really sure if four cores with four threads uh, from this generation of Ryzen CP what just happened there what oh boy oh gosh uh all right let's just keep on going <laughs> I'm not really sure if the CPU part of this APU is capable enough of running this game properly because sometimes it goes like the cpu utilization goes above the gpu utilization and that's that's a bit of a bummer honestly guys i wasn't really expecting that it seems like this game is still super cpu intensive and i am glad i used the low uh, population density or whatever that setting is crowd density yes uh, because that's a cpu intensive setting but not even that saves this as you can see, both the GPU and the CPU are very much up there, and this is still a pretty bad experience. However, it's much better in the 1030, so there's that at least. <laughs> Let's do performance FSR right now, and uh, yeah, that's 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 getting close. It's getting closer and closer to the the playable frame rates, but as you can see now, the CPU actually becomes the bottleneck right now. 
Actually, we could be seeing those frame time spikes here because of the quad cores uh, with, with four threads, you know? I mean, even the Ryzen 7 3700X that I had previously wasn't really capable of getting many FPS over here, so it's no surprise that the little Ryzen 3 can't do it either. Uh, but let's go down to Ultra Performance FSR, I guess. It's probably gonna look like crap. Yep, <laughs> it looks pretty bad like this. And I guess it just accentuates the CPU bottleneck right now. Gosh, the physics here are still broken. How are you not dead, dude? God damn it, it's Bob! It's It needs to be Bob, guys. That, that's Bob right there. We gotta kill him. I can't even see right now. Uh, is that him? Oh my gosh. He, he, he's starting to disappear in the resolution. I, I don't... Okay. I think it is, it is Bob. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. It could only be Bob with that hat. Okay. <laughs> See? Seriously? Seriously? This is how you die, Bob. This is how... After I, I ran through you like a couple of times, this is how you decide to die. Okay. Anyways, this is not really playable at 1080p, unfortunately. Well, guys, I think I'm going to skip 900p for this one, honestly. Let's go down to 720p right away. Lowest settings, of course, without FSR right now. And let's see how it runs like this. So it's getting... Oh, boy, it's, it still drops a lot. Now, do remember that this is pretty much one of the most intensive areas in the entire map. Why would you do that? Why? Yeah, wait, it says wait right there. So the guy, he just didn't wait. He, he, he got that coming. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, police are just spawning everywhere, I guess. My car is almost exploding. So anyways, these are not very good FPS, but at least the, the CPU and GPU utilization are kind of neck and neck there. CPU is still bottlenecking it a little bit though. Since we're getting like down to 25, 23 FPS around here, uh, that means that we can probably see like up to 30 in other areas, maybe 30 plus even in, other, in areas that are not really as intensive. But of course you're gonna come across those slowdowns and it's just not good. And so far, not so good. We're getting 20 still. Uh, this is still intensive though, this area. The frame time, however, is just awful, guys. It is the CPU, because whenever the CPU is above 90% usage, the frame time is all over the place. And now that it's around 70%, it's fairly smooth. So I guess if you just walk everywhere and you don't use a car in this game, so things are not rendering in very fast, you know, uh, you could get the CPU usage lower and uh, end up having a smoother experience. But yeah, the quad core with four threads is definitely... Uh, a weakness here in this APU in Cyberpunk 2077. Not that the Vega 8 is very good either, but at least uh, it should be able to do a little bit better in, uh, if paired with a stronger CPU, that is. Uh, so yeah, we get 30-something FPS sometimes around these areas that are not intensive, but you all know that it's gonna drop a lot, so it's not really that enjoyable. Let's go ultra quality right here. And, uh, ooh, going up to like 40 almost. Not too bad, but again, the stuttering is there. It's, I mean, you could get used to this stuttering. It, it's not the worst stutter that I've ever felt in games. Gosh. So it gets up to 30 more often. You could also overclock this APU, the GPU part of it, you know, and the CPU part of it as well. Damn it, those physics. <laughs> but I can't really do that in this motherboard. This HP motherboard is pretty bad. Um, it's just an OEM PC. You can check the model down below in the description. Yeah, this is also what most people will do to just not overclock anything, play with stock speeds. And uh, this is what you can expect. At least it gets a little bit better right here. It's not dropping to 23. Well, it is. <laughs> I guess this is just a more CPU intensive part of the game and you can't really do much about it unfortunately even if we drop the FSR setting it shouldn't really do much so let's try it out with quality at 720p I think this this doesn't look good whatsoever but it's still seeable I guess I mean if you use glasses it can be lifelike <laughs> depending on the graduation oh boy 30s it's not too bad though wow Okay, so we're not seeing 20s here anymore. It does help it a little bit. Oh, but it's on fire. Let's get out of here. Come on. Okay. Okay. All right. 
This is pretty hard to control. First person aspect of this game with these kinds of <laughs> FPS and frame times. But it's not impossible, as you can you see. Yeah, uh, yes, I did. Wait. But he's gonna regenerate his health. Don't worry. Because I'm probably gonna load the last checkpoint after you kill me. So there's that. Where's Bob, by the way? He's still is he still alive? No. Oh yes, if we if we uh, reload the last checkpoint, we can kill Bob again. There we go. There goes his chair. Huh. Also, we're getting 40s uh, while walking, not driving. Driving is much more intensive in this game than walking, as you can probably tell right now. Those frame times are so smooth whenever we're not doing anything. It feels great to turn the camera around like this, but then we start the car and it goes to sh And there's basically nothing you can do about it. Uh, unless you want to overclock it again, if you have a, a capable motherboard for that, but uh, usually these 2200 GEs will only go up to like 4.2 gigahertz maximum, I think. And looking in this direction, 24, pretty much the same thing, guys. Again, if you come across this area often, it's not going to be enjoyable. I really don't think you should buy this game if you have a Ryzen 3 2200G, honestly. Just go play esports titles and have fun in them because those will run absolutely fine. As you can see, pretty much the same thing using balanced uh, FSR and uh, where is Bob? I can barely see anything right now. Bob is not using his uh, hat anymore and he is pretending that he's not Bob. Also, are you wearing a bra, Bob? No, that's not a bra, that's just a necklace, okay. Yeah, that's that's a Bob face, isn't it, guys? Bob, stop. Bob. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Yes, you have. Back in GTA 5, I'm always killing you, Bob. Don't you remember? Oh, my... Yeah, my... There goes Bob. <laughs> I guess it becomes a bigger mess if you actually lower the resolution settings or the FSR settings because it starts stuttering more, it becomes more CPU bound and it's just more jittery so I, I don't recommend this. I think 720p native might be the way to go if you really must play this game and you're fine with 20 plus FPS. Let's do like ultra performance FSR just for the fun of it. Yep, it looks like crap now. <laughs> Once again, uh, it's CPU bound again, 100% CPU utilization. No, oh, I can't do anything. You can barely see the things. Yeah, it, it's awful like this. It's pretty much the same thing. Again, see what happens when you have a CPU bottleneck. Yeah, dropping the settings doesn't really do much. You're just screwed. Well. That's what happens with an older quad core with four threads in this game, apparently. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Something like an i7-3770K that I tested with the 1030 will actually have no problems playing the, this game with the proper GPU. But apparently, four cores, four threads can't really do much in this one. Again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one very soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.